God damn it. This is it. Colonel, I've spotted him. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yes, sir, Colonel. I'll get him. St. John out. All right. Come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! Come on, Corporal! Oh. Uh. Where are you going? Don't let him get away, Deke. Guys, right this way. Okay, let's see. What's going on here? Back on track. Colonel, I've spotted him. It's him all right. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yes, sir. Oh. Colonel, I'll get him. Say, ah, come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! Of a, a 
Okay, what the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Uh, Michael, please, just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I stashed you, I swear. Sorry, pal. Talk to the colonel. Colonel, I've got him. Alive. Transmitting coordinates now. Corporal, good. I'm sending a patrol now. Fix this back to me. Garrett out. Should work. Colonel, sir. Reporting in. I'm, uh, returning the stolen property. Corporal? Yes. The worker. Common thief and murderer. Did she put up a fight? Yes, sir. Yes, yes, she did. Uh, she put up a hell of a fight, but it was nothing that I couldn't handle. You fight on the side of righteousness, Corporal. Don't give it another thought. It is those like her. Liars, thieves, murderers, drug addicts, criminals all who brought this scourge down upon us. I will not weep to see them gone, every one. Dismissed, Corporal. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll get back to work. St. John. Sergeant, how's it going? Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Set it down over there. Let me get a piece. Look, 
Okay. That's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. Can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. friend is a napalm molotov <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war once i fine-tune the formula that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch <sighs> know how that is yeah i got a pretty good idea i worked in an auto shop do you need anything else nah man i'm good so goddamn close <laughs> kaboom <laughs> gonna blow up and burn son taking it to the asses Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? I'm, I'm sorry. It's... This is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm, I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. I gotta admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with. The... Hey, you uh, you been inside the ark yet? Uh, the caves here. Yeah, I got the grand tour when I arrived from the colonel himself. Come on, even you got to give the man some credit for the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Oh, right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. Look at this. This'll get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, 
The militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh yeah, well, why did you uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, how long did it take for the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. I think I'm gonna faint from hunger. Nothing, it's just... <laughs> Never mind. <clears throat> Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a viricide. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. Can I ask you something? After that night in farewell, what happened? I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I, I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, this is gonna sound stupid, but, um, but that night in farewell, my mongrels ring. Do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter.
Here, I think this is it. <laughs> You've been here before? Once. Before, you know. Career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. <laughs> what? Nothing, just... Looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on. I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps. Set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. What's wrong? Well, I mean, I don't want to bring the whole place down in us. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you goddamn news. Now, come on, let's just go around. We're not getting through here. No. Whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you do- I think I can get this. Ah, there. Not so hard. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. You ready? Push! <laughs> We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... Just close this up. Come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. This barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. You got it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. 
Hold on, let me find something. Ah, uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! Damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! And now you finally got your way. <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. I think we can get through here. Locked tight. The door's jammed. Here, I'm here. I got this. I got it. See? I told you. See? Like I said, I got this. Good job. Thanks. How badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. Look, we're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Someone needed to learn how to park. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey! Another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... <laughs> Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hey, you try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. There's so many of them. I just kept coming. 
It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on, we're almost there. This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed Freeze before. Oh, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Coming. I got a use for you. Hey, where are you going? Hey, I'm following you. Let's check this door. Can you open it? No, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go what? around the building. There has to be a way in. I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? I guess not. Jammed like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, sorry. Hold on, hold on for a second. Those are. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means. There's gotta be a way from the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to. Find a way up. Sarah, here. Uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push! <laughs> <laughs> Hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we had to kill the little shits. What? What do you mean? You remind me of that little girl. One in farewell. The one that fucking stamped. She didn't know what she was doing. She didn't know what they're doing. I know. That's the last of them. You enjoyed that? What, well, killing newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. Careful. Steady. I got this. All right. Careful. Oh, not only are they annoying, but they 
smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try a living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. No sign of a violence or attack. Hemlock. Jesus. Over here. Is this that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. As it's gonna get. Let's move. Lot more. We're gonna have to clear them out before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire parking lot. Watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this.
hold on. I'm coming to you. You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, lots changed since then. Yeah. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, sir? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Hey, this way. After you. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Corporal. Hey. Hey, Sarge. My brothers and sisters in arms, I stand here before you in celebration. The end is nigh. Yeah. Captain Curry has been working non-stop assembling and training our army. Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill hundreds of freaks at once. 
Lieutenant Weaver is working on a chemical weapon that will allow us to burn down entire hordes. Soon, slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive war as we take the fight to the freaks, as we work to retake our world. And behold, he said, the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all evil yeah. and throw them into the furnace of fire. In that place, there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels, and we are coming. Company dismissed. Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock around. in the middle yeah. of all this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. Oh, hey, uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Estarás bien. You'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. You know, me parece. It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go and go. No, no, no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No, no I don't entiendo. what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <coughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I... I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you.
That's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath where Dude, I could check out. you can't get what I need there, you... <laughs> How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you can get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. Oh my god, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? <laughs> well, I don't know. Are you gonna take me or not? Dress warm. Pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh my god, if you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel? Captain? Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in the ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to sniff on his status. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? Oh, there were more people in the world. I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes it a fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not going to make it. You know, I've been at plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for the beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I don't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Where are we heading? To Diamond Lake. There's an old forest service road that winds around the western base of Mount Tielsen. Okay. But the soldiers stationed there were having a uh, bear problems. Bear problems. Hey, hey, shut it off. We, we got orders to keep anyone from. To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm um, sorry, ma'am. I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <sighs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am. I'm sorry, ma'am. Jesus. 
I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't gonna let him die, you know, so watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all, I guess I didn't want to, I didn't want to let